Good afternoon, everybody. This is Trudy with Johnny Chook's Home and Hardware broadcasting live from Johnny Chook's Home and Hardware. I think I said that twice. Okay, this is a happy handyman show. I was totally, you're, you're gonna laugh when I'm gonna tell you why I was totally thrown off. I hit the button on the Facebook Live and I accidentally missed the button and got very nervous about shutting off Facebook because that can happen to me in a moment and then I've lost everything and I'm not talented enough or techy enough to get it back and talk on the air at the same time. So let me start again. Hi, this is the Happy Handyman Show. <laughs> Welcome to the show. I'm Trudy Chook. I'm broadcasting for Johnny Chook's Home and Hardware and let me tell you where we're located. We're at 2361 Northwest Military Highway, which is about two miles north of Loop 410, right past the light at Lock Hill Selma. If you're coming from 1604, you just take the Northwest Military Highway exit in and we're nine lights. Uh, if you wanna call the store where I'm on the air right now, the number is 210-341-1573. Uh, you know, but if you don't live in San Antonio and coming down here is not where you drive all the time, you can always go to our website, which is happyhandyman.com, and everything I'm going to talk about today is on the site, and if you want it shipped to you, I can do that for you too. You can check it out, uh, get a little more detail, or you can just call the store and uh, and talk to me. I'm here almost every day. I do take off on Thursdays, so but if you want to give me a call tomorrow, I will be here. Uh, let me tell you uh, real quick that uh, we're having a Father's Day event, and even though um, it's just it's supposed to be for yesterday and today, Tomorrow, if you're in a world of hurt and you forgot to get your dad a gift, or then come on in because what I'll do is I'll extend this sale on the case knives and the Titan knives. Right now we're doing 20% off on those, and if you would like, we can do that again on Sunday. Also, all the Traeger accessories are 20% off, and so if that means you want spices or things to clean your Traeger with, or just all the other good, cool stuff that goes with uh, having a Traeger grill, we can do that. Now the Traeger grills are not on sale, they don't allow me to do that, but we have all three grills, all three. Um, and when I say all three, uh, I mean like the small, they call it a tailgater, I have the medium size one, which is the one that I have at my house, and then we have the larger one. And so they range in price from I think uh, five or six ninety nine up to nine ninety nine. And I'm gonna give I'm gonna tell you something, okay? About uh, fourteen years ago, uh, I got a Traeger grill, and last night I cooked on my Traeger grill because we made some stuff for the store today and I'll, I'll cook it on my Traeger and then um, I will then warm it up and then bring it in and let me tell you if you haven't cooked on a Traeger grill you are missing out for one thing it's super easy it's it is it's just it's electric uh, but it has pellets and the pellets are just full of flavor. So you pick the flavor that you like, like mesquite or pecan, which is my favorite. And then after you've cooked on it a little while, you're gonna know, 20 minutes and I'm done. You don't have to sit outside and babysit it. It's not gonna flare up. It's not gonna do anything. The only thing that can go wrong is if you run out of pellets and you don't know it. So um, last night I cooked, I made some hamburgers, some little meatball things, but let me tell you what tastes great on it and you're gonna laugh. And it's a pizza. If you go to HEB or wherever you like to buy food and you buy their cheapest pizza that they got, okay? And I'm not talking a cauliflower, because I don't know if the cauliflower would hold together well. But uh, cheap pizza, put it on there, and I swear it tastes just like you went to a pizza place and they cooked it in one of their big ovens. So if you're ever thinking about a Traeger grill or you want to buy something special for your dad because he really likes doing that for the family, come on 
all take a look. They're all put together. All we got to do is load it up and away you go. All right. So uh, let me tell you today we're going to be open till 630 tomorrow, uh, 11 to 5. So anything I talk about today, you can come by the store. I'm going to talk to you about a couple of things. I gave a little shout out earlier on Facebook and I talked about because I don't know about you, but how many of you are having problems with flies? I mean, they, okay, yes, we're having problems with mosquitoes, but I do believe flies are taking front row right now. And so I was like, oh, why are we having so many flies? And, you know, I talk to people about that. I say, okay, do you, do you have pets in your yard? Do you uh, not pick up after them? And uh, do you have any trash in the yard? Have you left food? Yeah, you know, all the things that I think are your garbage cans kind of close to the backyard. But then I have none of those things. And the other night, I guess it was about four nights ago, I went out, just wanted to put my feet in the spa, cool off a little bit. It is going to be a much eight, right? And um, I couldn't sit down and do anything for swatting flies. And it was just beyond me why we were having some hadn't rained in a while, so we can't say it's rained. So I went online because I'm not one of those people that likes putting those fly ribbons out. They're just, they're not very attractive, and I just, I just don't like dead flies looking at me. So I went online, and I put out there, what is the best fly deterrent? I mean, I don't want to kill them especially. I just don't want them to hang by me. So you're not gonna believe what it was. It is pine salt. Okay, so right now I'm showing everybody on Facebook just the pine salt and it's just the original. I don't know if the other flavors are just as good, but the original, that's what they said the flies do not like the smell. And then I got a sprayer, I like these, the 360 sprayers from Harris. I like the Harris 360s because you can go upside down, right side up, get underneath the cabinet, like if you're trying to spray for mildew or something like that, and they keep spraying. They're great. So I put that pine saw in the sprayer, and I went outside, and I sprayed everything down. And I'll, I'll be honest with you, I sprayed pretty okay, liberally because I was so ticked yeah. from the other day that I couldn't even sit outside and enjoy myself. And so I sprayed everything down. The deck around the spa, I sprayed some chairs, even though I wasn't gonna be over there. The tabletop that was over there, all the deck of the spa around there, I just sprayed everything. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I do not like the smell of pine salt. I don't like it at all. And so I thought, well, maybe it will dissipate in a little bit. But when I went outside, the flies started coming around already. So I sprayed everything down. And I mean, I really sprayed it down. And then I went inside and I changed my clothes and uh, uh, got a towel and fixed myself a drink to take outside. And when I went outside, guess what? No flies. No flies at all. So I thought, well, maybe we need to close. So I sat down, put my drink on the side of the deck of the deal, and I just thought, okay, I'm going to wait because I cannot believe this works. And I had this one fly, rogue fly, that came by, and he dive bombed the straw on my drink and took and booked it and never came back. So it works. It's just, if you're sensitive to pine saws, you won't like, uh, just like the flies, you won't like it. So spray everything down that you're gonna be around, go inside, fix your food, change clothes, and then come outside and see if that doesn't work for you. And you have to do it every time you go outside. So last night I thought, well, I'll see if there's enough left over from uh, last night and to see if it works. Mm -mm, no, they need not just a subtle reminder, they need in your face pine salt. So now you know, 
and uh, I've got pine saw on it, but you can get it anywhere, right? So just try it and see if it works for you. You know, sometimes I tell y'all stuff and then you, you come and that didn't work for me. Not every situation is the same. I'm just telling you it worked really well for me. And so now I have pine saw and a 360 sprayer out on my deck. All right, so let's talk about something else that I haven't talked about in a long time. And that is a product called Wax It All by Howard's. Wax It All is a food safe, it's a grade, food grade wax that you can use on like um, your wooden utensils, your cutting boards, if you have a butcher block uh, countertop or anything like that. And yes, I have like cutting boards and wooden utensils. I don't have a uh, countertop, a butcher block countertop, but let me tell you what it is really good for. How many of you put granite in and then you decided, the guy who is there, the salesman says, hey, do you wanna put a granite composite deck in, a deck, a sink in? And you go, yeah, that would look good. And they always talk you into those real dark ones because they're stunning, right, when they're new. But then the minute it hits San Antonio water and it starts to spot, they don't look that good anymore. So, they, and you have to be very careful because you can't treat granite like you do other things to clean with. You can't clean it like with you do stainless steel or ceramic or anything like that because those things you can use some things on there that you cannot use on granite because it would break it down in a composite sink even worse so what do you use okay so to clean it invisible shield and you know we usually talk about invisible shield when it comes to glass shower doors because it's amazing and this Invisible Shield Lime Scale and Stain Remover will take out all the stains in that composite granite sink. Because I had a lady even came in today and I asked her, she says, I have a composite granite sink and I knew where it was going. And I said, is it black? She goes, no, it's light colored. And she said, I've got all these like cloudy looking things all over it. I can't get it off. I said, it's hard water. And, and I was surprised that it showed on a light, but it does. And so I, I showed her the lime scale and stain remover. It removes tough stains, soap and minerals. It's safe and effective on just about anything. In fact, I talked to people that have like bubble tubs and whirlpools when they get hard water stains and soap scum and like if they put like bubble stuff in there, it leaves like a ring around it. You can use um, Invisible Shield to take care of that but then once you clean it okay, then use the wax it all to add the shine back to the sink it will look beautiful this wax it all is really a very um, you can do so many things it's so versatile so of course you know the wood and the stuff like that but then a composite sink it really is nice and let me tell you where else I use it outside I have some powder coated chairs and they're older I mean but they haven't chipped or anything like that because they're not around water and so uh, but they do look dull and even though they might be clean, they don't look like what they used to look like 15 years ago. So I use this wax at all, like if I'm gonna have company over or something like that, I'll put that and I'll put that all over the chairs and they look beautiful. It will intensify the color. It looks look like they're brand new, like I just got them. So like I said, the wax at all, super versatile, especially if you've got wood products that you wanna take care of. Howard's all the time hands down best for wood okay all right so now let's talk about spiders are you having spiders um, there is a product called miss muppets revenge and it kills spiders inside and out and so we used to have spiders so much all the time at the lake uh, I don't know what it is about spiders and lakes 
but we would always have so many spiders and they you would go to be going into the boathouse and they'd get all over your face and stuff like that and if you're noticing you have spiders in the house then this is an excellent thing and it's not harmful it's ready to use it's made by the wet and forget people i don't know how they got into spiders but it comes in this it looks like it's about a half gallon it is and um, you can use it to spray and then you won't have those little spider webs all around the house do you ever get them like up in the corners of your house and stuff or outside on the patio up in the corner well just spray this miss muffet's revenge and then they're they're done 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 all right so i talked to y'all a lot about taking care of the um, bugs inside the house and so that you don't have to have a service do that and the product that you want to use is called sure clobber clobber is a water-based so that means it's not going to smell it's not going to stain it's um it'll give you about a 60-day residual i get more than that out of it i i get about 90 to 120 days when i spray my house but it it's a can is like twelve dollars i could be wrong on that and you all you have to do and the clobber is for the inside okay only the inside i just go and i spray all around the baseboards and if i can't get to the baseboard i don't worry about it oh let me say hi to everybody that's watching right now lynn and karen and i think there's some other people and i wasn't watching but thank you guys so much for watching the show and being a part of that with me i pre i appreciate it and all of you that are listening out on the radio thanks for listening uh, so the clobber is for the inside do not when you pick it up you're gonna go well i thought she said clobber but it says lice dust mites bed bugs that's not my problem no your problem is roaches ants and scorpions if you live out in the whole country and on the back in the tiniest print you have ever seen in your life is where it says that and so uh, until I have it relabeled, clobber is what you want to use for the inside. Remember, clobber inside. For outside, and when I mean outside, I mean outside the house. So the garage, the shed, the boathouse, the front patio, as long as it's covered, deck, as long as it's covered, uh, VS-102. Now the VS-102 does say roaches and ant spray, but this one's made with an oil okay so it has a pretty pungent odor and so you don't want to use this inside the house and like i said it's oil based i made the mistake of using this inside the house it almost i had to use a floor cleaner it was oil it never would dry on the wood floors it didn't do anything to my wood floors but the clobber i had misunderstood the guy the sales the rep and i had misunderstood him and so you don't need to be missing miss to misunderstand okay vs 102 outdoors so garage shed front porch it just can't be out in the sun it has no uv protectant in it now, a lot of people get real nervous when they see termites, and I don't blame them. Uh, they can do so much destruction, and they, they're they just, you know, nobody even knows they're there until you punch something on the wall and it gives way. Um, and you'll always find them. You will always find them in the fence. Always. Uh, unless you build your fence up above uh, ground level and you put cement block around that way they don't the last fence I built that's what I did and you wouldn't ever have to worry about termites but if you do get termites inside the house or they just seem like a one little area you Taro makes a carpenter ant and termite killer I mean like it's instant it's like spray and they drop and so um, it also kills carpenter bees so if you have bees like that this product is very, very good. It's pretty reasonably priced and it will kill up ants 
and carpenter ants and, and everything uh, for up to a month. But then you could kill them and then you could call someone and make sure that you don't have any problem around the rest of the house. It may just be in one little area where there's, it's usually where water is, so like under the sink, outside by the water, uh, maybe if you have an air conditioner drip outside, then you'll notice it there. So, let me see how much time. Oh, yeah. All right, the other day I had people come in and they were very, they were having a problem, of course, with flies, okay, inside the house. And um, they just wanted to know what, is there something I can do, something I can spray, something I said, you know what, the best thing that I have found for inside the house, and they said it just seemed to be right around the kitchen. Well then, after I talked with them a little bit, that's where the door was to go in and out. And so when they'd open the door, the flies sit there and they're like waiting for you to open the door so they can come in. So Dynatrap, we're so used to talking about Dynatrap and mosquitoes because in all honesty, the Dynatrap for mosquitoes is excellent. It really is. I'm not gonna talk about mosquitoes today because we are out, out of product. And I don't like to talk about product unless we have it because People won't hear the part where I said we're out. So, but if it's flies, gnats, something like that inside the house, those little things that they call no see but they find you, uh, the Dynatrap, and it's a plug-in, and it's got a little light on it, and it plugs right into the wall. They're attracted, yes, to the light, and then they get stuck on the sticky pad behind it. And that will catch a lot of stuff. And then what's nice about it is they sell little replacement sticky pads. And so if that is a problem for you, and then once they get on it, you just take the little sticky pad, throw it in the trash, and you're done with it. And um, so it's good for trapping fruit flies, moths, gnats, um, anything like that. So if that's a problem for you, you might want to take a look. Now I'm going to tell you a little bit of something about the store. Got a minute and a half. And we just got through moving three aisles in the store. And I mean, it was a big, big deal. But we had wanted to move all the kitchen stuff up front right by the gift shop. And what was on aisle two was going to go to aisle five. Oh, really? Is that the music? It's it is time. So anyway, we have moved some stuff around. Come on into the store and let us show you how good it looks, okay? All right, let me tell you where we're located. We're at 2361 Northwest Military Highway. The phone number here is 210-341-1573. And that's it for this week, folks. It's time for you to roll up your sleeves and get busy on some of these projects we've been talking about. But by all means, you remember one thing. It's always a great day to paint. See you next week. Okay. <laughs> I will. Okay, so now we're back. Now you can see that I'm going to have like a uh, headphone here. But I want to talk to y'all about a few more things. Let me get up here. We don't even need this. All we need is the phone. I'm going to move up a little closer. And I'm going to move the phone a little closer. And um, this is a good time to, if you have a question, to ask it. And I will try to be techy enough to be able to see it, okay? All right, so we got through talking about that we moved some stuff around in the store. And when I moved stuff around in the store, I found things that I hadn't seen in a million years, but yet they've been here the whole time. So, we moved aisle five, which is tools. Five and six used to be tools. Well, now six and seven are tools, and it looks so good, so, so good. But in that, I found a product because I did a lot of the moving too, and so did 
all we did this all in-house my employees were so such troopers let me tell you they never complained well at least not when I was around um, how many of you uh, you have drill bits in your tool chest okay and um, one is for concrete one is for wood maybe one is for glass one is for tile one is for this okay and so for the ones for wood and for concrete and things like that and masonry I don't know about you but I can't tell them apart the only way I can tell is if I pull one out and it's the wrong one it will not go through what I'm working on so if I pull out a concrete one and try to go through wood guess what nothing happens uh, but they make these they're called multi purpose drill bits okay they're like this and the same drill bit will go through uh, concrete brick PVC granite wood steel and I think that's plexiglass okay so all you would need to do is have this one drill bit and you wouldn't have to go, oh, is this the right one? So isn't that great? I mean, this, okay, I'm telling you, this would be a good gift for somebody. Somebody that likes to work around the house and do stuff, this is good. All right, and that's what we found when we moved aisle five to aisle seven. Okay, so then we moved aisle two Okay, two to two to seven, and I'll no, it was I'll seven to two. Okay, I'll seven to two. Cause seven, have y'all completely lost faith in me yet? Okay, I'll seven was uh, kitchen stuff. We I love this stuff. I love all the gadgets. I love everything like that. So, but it was so far back from the gift shop that people would ever see it. So we moved it. And now it's a, just a natural deal to go into the kitchen stuff off the gift area. And look what we found. Look what Jill brought in. Is this not cool? This is a colander that will stretch out over your sink. This part goes like that. See how it gets bigger? Isn't that cool? And then you can rinse your stuff out over, over the sink. I thought it was really cool. Or you can slice and put it in there. You can haul your strawberries and put it in there. Okay? Or rinse your lettuce. This is really good. Okay, so now you'll find all the stuff for the kitchen on aisle two. It's really cool. All right, so then we moved aisle two, which was originally lawn and garden to aisle five. When we did that, I found these and I wanted to remind you about them. How many of you, maybe you're not cutting right now, but maybe you're spraying for bugs up in a tall area and you do not, you don't want to get on a ladder. I mean, don't do one of these. The Spectricide makes this thing called reach and spray. It fits every kind of aerosol can the size the button everything and they're super reasonably priced and then you don't have to get close to the bees you don't have to get close to where you were cutting off those branches and you can spray and this is on aisle five now okay right next to the spectricide pruning spray and um the Spectricide one is one of my favorites. All right, so now I wanna to talk to you about something that we just got in. It hasn't been that long ago. I wanna show it to you first. Okay, how many of y'all have, uh, I've talked to you about glass house candles. It's a new candle line. We haven't had it that long. Maybe about a year which is pretty new for products and they're made they're not made here they're made in Australia but they have the most wonderful fragrance and beautiful packaging 
I mean, their packaging is just gorgeous. Okay, this, I was just showing you this. Okay, is this not the coolest thing ever? And you say, yes, if I know, is that an antenna for my TV? No, it is uh, scent sticks right here. And they go into this beautiful golden holder. And um, if you've ever tried any of the fragrances from Glass House, then these are in their fragrances also. I have one of these, and I'm going to tell you something. I usually never, ever, like, say anything negative about a product because I have learned that that's not smart. But Pura, we used to carry Pura. And it just got to be to where it was such a challenge keeping up with the Pura industry. And so we sold the last of them and then made a decision not to carry it any longer. And the cool part about Pura is that for one, you could change out the fragrance in them. Two, you could turn it on with your phone, and some people really like that kind of thing. Um, and you would have fragrance the whole time. You wouldn't have to light anything. You wouldn't have to do anything like that. It was just electrical. And so it was safe. I mean, you could use it in places that you can't light a candle or anything, or a lamp like Lamberger. So we brought in this from Glass House Candles. And it, the smell and it uh, is, the fragrances, I'm sorry, are amazing. And so this is a great gift. I have one and I put it right underneath my lamp. And so I turn the lamp on and it kind of like helps the fragrance radiate. And you can get this together you get this the little holder and then two sets of sticks, two different flavors for like $48, no, $45, because it's a $3 savings. Or you can just buy this by itself and buy the sticks like this, okay? So, but if you did buy this by itself and these two, it's like $48. So if you buy it as a set, you save three bucks. And, or if you just want to get just one of these and one of these, these are 14. So it's like $34 if you want to do that for a gift. You need to come in and take a look at this. I love this. Um, there's just one thing you need to remember. Okay, when you buy it like this and it has two packs in there, Remember where you put the other packs so that you don't lose it? Because I did. You can't find it in the house anywhere. So I'm getting two new ones today. So, um, let's see. Nobody's asking me questions yet. So I'm gonna tell you about, I'm gonna tell you about something. Okay. Hi Trudy, oh yes I did. What can I use to clean a concrete bird bath that won't harm the birds that that use it? It has green stuff in it. Okay, so I'm thinking the green stuff is like slime, mold, mildew. It's, it's just what, uh, algae, okay? So, something that's safe to use would be the 30 second outdoor cleaner. Okay, so just dump all the water out spray this in. If you can let that dry out first, that would be, this would clean a whole lot faster because remember we talking to you about this 30 second hour cleaner. It cleans much faster on a dry surface. So dump out the water, let it dry, spray this on there, and then rinse it out real good. And then that would be fine for the birds. It'd be safe for the birds and you would have a nice clean bird bath. Kind of if you ever have a leak in a concrete bird bath, Come on. use through the roof on it. It will seal it up completely and you will That's not abuse. All right, so remember me telling you about RMR, RMR 86. It's for instant mold and mildew. If you have some serious mold, mold, really, this product is great. It will instantly clean it up, okay? Especially like for those of you that have front loaders. Okay, I have a front loader. I hear they're not the thing that they used to be, but I do. 
and uh, the seal around there, since there's water that sits in it all the time, will mildew. It. And it is impossible to clean it because it gets deep inside that seal. It's not just sitting on the surface, it's deep inside. I'm going to show you what time it is because y'all have been watching for a long time already. Uh, and this cleans it up. You know what else RMR86 will clean up? Silicone caulk. I've never seen anything clean silicone caulk. Dad and I used to discuss it, and he said the only thing you can do is pull it out and re-caulk. And, but not anymore. RMR 86 is so good, it's amazing, and it has a shelf life, um, an excellent shelf life. So if you buy it and you don't use it a year from now, it still works. So, but it, okay. But both of those products are bleach based. It may not be the only thing in the product, but they're bleach based. So what do you do to clean mold and mildew if you can't handle bleach? You want to use Moldex Mold and Mildew Stain Remover Non-Bleach. You won't get a bleach smell. It's great for furniture, shower curtains, grout, plastic. Um, for RVs, if you get a little mold and mildew on the outside of your RV, uh, maybe your fabric chairs outside, this is what you want to use. So if it's, um, if, if uh, bleach bothers you, then this is what you want to use. Moldex. It's a really good product. Okay. It's made by the rust people. Alright, was there anything else that I needed to tell y'all about? No. Next week, we're going to talk about mosquitoes again, and we're going to talk about maybe some things to use um, other than a Dynatrap, okay? Because I want to try to make it simple, and I want to try to make it easy and uh, reasonably priced. Okay. Let me, all of you that are watching right now, thank you so much. And if you think this will help somebody, share it with your friends. Um, let me tell you where we're located. We're at 2361 Northwest Military Highway. The phone number here at the store is 210-341-1573. All of you get out there. If your daddy is still with you, go and give him a hug because it will mean a lot to him and to you too. All right, see ya.